Man is not disturbed by things, but by the view he has of them. Epictetus. The more you strive, the further you drift from your goals. Does this sound familiar? Is it counterintuitive? Well, that's exactly what we often do without even realizing it. What happens is that your excessive effort may be sabotaging your dreams, and the key to unraveling this mystery lies in the words of the ancient Stoics and the Law of Reverse Effect. In this video, you will learn how to benefit from and apply the Law of Reverse Effect in practice and actually start materializing significant results in your life. Are you already subscribed? If not, subscribe now, and don't miss any of the personal development and Stoicism videos we're releasing every day. Let's make the Stoic Today community grow and become stronger every day. Now, let's delve deeper into the Law of Reverse Effect and discover the practices to use this law to our advantage. The Paradox of Intentional Action In the pursuit of perfection, we often find ourselves fixated on the idea that intense focus and unwavering determination are the only ways to achieve our goals. However, this is where the paradox presents itself. This burning obsession, this excessive intention, may well be the reason why we fail. To illustrate this, let's go back in time to an ancient village in Japan, where a young archer was determined to be the best. Day after day, he trained, pulling the bowstring with all his strength, solely focusing on hitting the target. But no matter how hard he tried, the bullseye continued to elude him. That was until an old Zen master observed his practice and approached him. Young archer, said the master, you are trying too hard. Your intention to hit is so strong that it's blinding you. The archer, confused, looked at the master and replied, but isn't that what's expected of me? To try my best? The master, smiling, replied, there's a difference between trying your best and trying too hard. When you let go of the need to hit the target and simply surrender to the act of shooting, you will find your true mastery. And so, with this new understanding, the archer began to practice with a different state of mind. No longer obsessed with the outcome but passionate about the process. And, as the master had predicted, the arrows started finding their way to the bullseye with ease. This story teaches us a powerful lesson. In life, it is often our intense attachment to a specific outcome that prevents us from achieving it. When we learn to detach ourselves and trust the process, we open space for true excellence to emerge. It's the magic of the paradox of intentional action. Have you ever felt this way? Have you put all your energy into an activity and couldn't seem to make progress? Share your story in the comments and help others with your example. Stoic Wisdom and the Law of Reverse Effect The Stoics, from ancient Greece to the Roman Empire, understood the power of detachment and how our perceptions can shape our reactions. It can be argued that at the core of Stoicism is the understanding that we do not control external events, but only how we respond to them. How we interpret and perceive the events around us can define our journey towards success or failure. Take, for example, the Stoic idea of desire and aversion. Stoics believe that we should focus on desiring what is within our control and having aversion only to what we can avoid. This does not mean apathy or resignation but a profound understanding of where our true strength lies. Relating Stoic philosophy to the law of reverse effect, we see a surprising overlap. When we intensely desire something that is beyond our control, such as the outcome of an effort, we fall into the trap of moving away from what we truly desire. In contrast, when we focus on what we can control, our actions, efforts, and responses, and detach ourselves from the results, we find alignment with the natural flow of things. Stoicism and the law of reverse effect guide us to understand where our true power lies, not in the outcomes we seek, but in how we engage in the process. Soon, you will have a practical step-by-step -step guide to put the law of reverse effect to work for you. Modern Challenges in the Reverse Effect Needless to say, you already know that we live in a digital age where social validation seems to be the currency of the day. Every day, millions seek approval from others through likes, shares, and comments on social media. With this, the desire to stand out, to be recognized and celebrated, has become almost an obsession for many, and perhaps for you as well. But, much like the archer and his target, is this relentless quest for validation pulling us away from what we truly desire, or rather, are we getting further away from what truly matters? The pursuit of recognition on social media is a perfect illustration of the law of reverse effect in action. The unrestrained desire to be seen, to be validated, often leads us to adopt a persona that is not truly ourselves. This effort to create a perfect image can leave us exhausted, 
dissatisfied, and paradoxically, less authentic, opposite to what we initially sought. Here, we can make use of a simple yet powerful analogy, water. Imagine trying to grasp a handful of water in your hands. The harder you try to hold it, the more it slips through your fingers. However, if you simply loosen your grip and keep your hand open, you can retain much more. Similarly, the pursuit of success, fame, or validation can be as elusive as water. The more obsessively we pursue it, the more elusive it becomes. The reality is that true and lasting validation comes from being at peace with oneself and living authentically. When we free ourselves from the constant need for external approval and focus on being the best version of ourselves according to our own standards, the validation we seek on social media naturally arises, effortlessly. The question is, are you willing to let go of the water, to stop desperately trying to grasp recognition and start living with purpose and authenticity? Do you believe that this reflection can help your friends and family? Then, share this video. Mental Tranquility and Effortless Action Throughout its teachings, Stoicism often emphasizes the importance of acceptance and mental tranquility. It's not passive acceptance or resignation but a deep understanding that resisting the intrinsic nature of things often generates more suffering than accepting them as they are. By adopting this perspective, we pave the way for effortless action, where we act not out of compulsion or desperation but with clarity, purpose, and serenity. Think of Marcus Aurelius, one of the greatest Roman emperors and simultaneously a Stoic philosopher. Even surrounded by wars, political betrayals, and personal challenges, he found strength and guidance in Stoic philosophy. In his diary, now known as Meditations, he often reflects on accepting things as they are and the importance of mental tranquility. One of his reflections resonates particularly with today's theme, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. The big question that arises is, how can we adopt this same approach in our modern lives, filled with distractions and challenges? The key lies in practicing acceptance, cultivating mental tranquility, and focusing on our actions and reactions. By doing so, we not only find peace amid chaos but also become more effective and resilient in the face of life's adversities. The power of now and the wisdom of non-action. In Taoism, there's an idea called Wu Wei, which can be translated as action without action or non-action. It's not about inactivity but about action that naturally flows without resistance or forced effort. It's very similar to the stoic approach of accepting things as they are enacting by nature. True mastery, both for Stoics and Taoists, lies in the ability to detach from the outcome, focus on the present, and allow action to arise from a place of tranquility rather than tension. This approach not only conserves energy but also makes us more adaptable and resilient in the face of life's whims. Now let's move on to our practical part, so take notes on each one to start transforming your life today. Practical Techniques for the Law of Reverse Effect If all of this sounds wonderfully philosophical but a bit intangible, don't worry. There are concrete ways to incorporate these concepts into your daily routine. 1. Mindfulness Meditation Dedicate a few minutes every day to simply sit in silence, focusing on your breath and the sensations of the present moment. This will help train your mind to stay in the now and reduce the tendency to get lost in worries about the past or future. 2. Daily Reflection Adopt the habit of reflecting on your behaviors, thoughts, and actions at the end of each day. Ask yourself, where could I have acted more fluidly? Where might my excessive intention have hindered me? You can also keep a journal, which will help you decompress your mind. 3. Practice detachment. When faced with a challenge, instead of obsessively focusing on the desired outcome, ask yourself, what action can I take now that will be in harmony with the situation, without forcing the result? 4. Continuous learning. Dedicate a few minutes each day to read and study the works of Stoic philosophers and Taoist texts. Immersing yourself in these teachings will help internalize their principles. 5. Support group. Join groups or communities, online or offline, that share an interest in Stoicism and Taoism. The journey becomes richer and easier when shared with others. Do you already practice any of these techniques or have others you'd like to share? Leave them in the comments and help enrich our community with your experience. If you enjoyed this video, consider giving it a like and sharing it. Your interaction is essential for the Stoic Today community. Thank you, and until next time.